As I was saying, um, when we get the chance, uh, we love to do English versions of a lot of the anime theme songs. Uh, it's a lot harder than you might think to get permission to do that. Because in Japan, different companies own different elements of a, of a show. One company will own the animation, and another company will own the recording, and another company will own the music, uh, and so it's very difficult to get to acquire the rights to record songs in English. And then if you do, you must adapt the lyrics. Now, I don't know how many of you have ever tried to do this or looked at what an actual translation is from the Japanese original to English, but it's often out there, <laughs> really out there. And many times, the amount of words that are, that are there don't even come close to filling the melody that you have to fill. For instance, are you, do you wanna, do you wanna start with something? Oh, that, that made me think, sorry. Give me a second, guys, we've been going at this for a Yeah, we've been, we've been a lot of panels today. It's been a long day. Uh, Vig sang this song um, as, for One Piece, and it's one of my favorites. And I had the pleasure of uh, I had the pleasure of adapting it. So, uh, for example, uh, <laughs> what he ended up singing was, "You can't stop me now. I'm always going." That's one friend. Okay, A to Z, I'm running, I'm stopping. In Japanese, the translation for that line is, I've always been stuck in a dead run. A to Z, I run on through. <laughs> it That's needs to be about twice as long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you see that the problem is you don't want to change the intent of the Japanese writers, but at the same time, you got to have more words. Mm -hmm. It won't fit otherwise. So that's a, a very that's one of the trickiest jobs of people like 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 Caitlin or myself who write ad adapt lyrics for a song from Japanese. Um, Another problem we run into, and I'll probably reference One Piece a lot because until it came along, we would only occasionally adapt songs. But once it did come along, every 13 episodes or so, either the opening or the closing was changing, which was great for Vic and I. It's like, how many episodes are there? <laughs> so it meant we would either be singing one or adapting one or both or calling the other or, or that kind of thing. Um, but because One Piece is a big show about pirates and friendship, Every song is about pirates and friendship. So and there are only so many, I guess, analogies and combinations of words that the Japanese could come up with. And when you get their translation, it's like, great, another line about how we're going to stick together. You know? <laughs> so you really have to use your brain and come up with other ways to say that. And then because we're in that show, uh, to some degree, either of us, we can think about, okay, what's really going on in, in this story arc? How do I feel as an actor about my character and bring all of those things uh, to the table? That oftentimes becomes very necessary. <laughs> um, we'll go into like some sp specific stuff and, and play things for you, but I'm just trying to think of some FAQs of this portion of, of the business to answer for you, because you may be wondering. Like, um, why are some songs dubbed and others not? Vic said a little bit, it has to do uh, with the rights. And then once we are able to do something, um, what's the process and that kind of thing. So sometimes we can't do a song for legal reasons. We just can't get the rights. Other times we don't do a song because the producer feels it's not necessary. Uh, and then after that, it's up to usually the discretion of a line producer or a director. And they say, I would like to do this song. So then we go ask if we can. Sometimes we still can't because of money. Plain and simple. <laughs> like, oh, we don't have the money to pay the musical director, Mike, and to pay the adapter, me or Vic or Brino or Leah, and then to pay the singer, and then to pay the engineer. So <laughs> those are the reasons uh, that we don't do it. Why, what are the reasons we do do it? Because we want to, and it's fun. <laughs> Yay. Um. More, more. You can imagine um, how many records uh, Larkin Seal sold because of their Ready Steady Go theme from Full Metal. So, as much as we would have loved to have recorded a song like that, the Japanese are like, well, we want to promote the Japanese song 
and sell the records of the band that did the original. So, you know, it's in their best interest to, uh, to, to promote those, those bands and those songs and leave them as the originals in the show. Um, some companies are, are more open to, to English versions than, than others. Um, and, you know, it just depends on, on a lot of variables. How, how popular the show is going to be, how big the band is, what kind of a contract they may have had. It gets in all kinds of legal elements, too, that people like us, we're just creatives, you know? We just want to sing songs and act characters and have fun, and we don't know anything about all the legal stuff. But um, <laughs> I did a song um, that, that Tomaki in Oran High School sang called uh, Guilty Beauty Love. And um, I just wanted to record it. Uh, it wasn't for any official uh, Oran release or anything. I just thought it would be fun to record. And I actually contacted the Japanese uh, people that owned the, the Japanese company that owned it and got permission, got a license to record it. And it's on one of my CDs. But when I went to, to translate the lyric, uh, I found this problem that we're talking about. And that is, um, stretching a lyric without changing it too much. Uh, adding things to it without changing the intent. Um, can we play a little clip English, of something? English let's play the original. You guys, let's hear just a, a bit of the original. Woo. 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 Computer's old, send nice thoughts to it. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, computer. There are computer. Bunch of little chipmunks running around right now. This is the original, so you're gonna get it in your mind what the melody is, okay? Now here's the English. Yes. Yeah. Oh, hold on a second. Stop one second. I'm going to tell you something before I say it. The original translation of the Japanese that you just heard. Na 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 na. Right. The line was, "It's a crime that God created me so beautifully." You can That's the direct the translation. Now, do you know how much musical space that line was supposed to fill? Uh, you can't say, you know, it's a cry that God created me so beautifully. It doesn't fit, right? So, what I wrote was. without sounding like you're adding words. You can't be like, just all the time, always, almost. I mean, all these extra, you know. You, you can't add a bunch of superf superfluous words. You need to add something that actually sounds like you meant to write it that way. Um, and, and there are also, this is interesting too, there are also a lot of times when the Japanese lyric will throw in an English word. <laughs> this song, for instance, at the end, He's like, na 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 Guilty Beauty Love. <laughs> so right out of the blue, he just sings Guilty Beauty Love. Why? They just liked those words. <laughs> they just love English words. <laughs> These are good ones. Uh, popcorn, chicken fingers. <laughs> <laughs> like in the middle of the first verse, he's like singing along in Japanese, and then all of a sudden he goes, uh, Cutie Lady. <laughs> that we try to do as best we can is whenever they use the English words, we want to hold on to those. We want to keep them right where they are. So, can we pick up the Japanese where we left off? It's about 25 seconds. Let's, Let's finish out the, the chorus for those of you that don't know it, and you'll hear what I'm talking about.
space and write around it now. So now you have to come back to it. So. I wish, you know, I actually, I wish I had them. Um, I, I brought the lyrics on a USB drive, but they're... My computer's old. Yeah, does anybody have a, a Mac with them by any chance? I have an iPhone. Oh, I have an iPhone too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> My iPhone says Star Trek on it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Start but anyway, jar. I had the original lyrics typed out, so I could read them to you and you could see how they were adapted. But I know that you got that too, right? Yeah, for you want to go songs. through one of those? Yeah, sure. let's go through one of those. Um, hopefully, I'm really unorganized, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to find one where I have everything. Like I have the lyrics and I also have the track. Um, once the track is recorded, like at Funimation, Vic can, if Vic's singing some, uh, Mike will let him record it himself wherever the heck he is at the time. Uh, a studio in LA or if it's at his studio in Houston. Um, but other songs, like if it's me or, or we've recorded at Funimation, that means I don't have that track. They have it off in the ether. So I have to beg, please can I have the finished one? That would really be awesome if you would be giving it to me. <laughs> So That's not like an icon has trees for this. Another funny thing about that song that you just heard, Guilty Beauty Love, there was no track. I recreated the track um, in my studio. So I basically brought a guitar player in and laid in all the drums and, and bass and everything to recreate the track um, so, that, so that I could sing the song because there wasn't a karaoke track for the song. Wow. But normally when we get permission from the Japanese companies to record a song, they'll give us the, uh, the accompaniment track without the vocals. And, uh, and usually that's without any vocals. Because if there are background vocals singing harmonies or something, well, they're singing in Japanese too. Yeah. So you gotta replace those too, right? Yeah. So um, usually we'll get, we'll get tracks with no vocals at all and, ha and, and replace all the vocals. <laughs> it's okay that you're an organized. 20 years ago, <laughs> our father's brought forth on this continent in a new nation. Okay. Mm, I guess I'll just pick anything because I can't find what I'm looking for. It's okay that you're an organized. We still love you. Oh, okay. I have this. Um, this is good. All right, this is good. It hurt uh, my earlier statement. <laughs> another um, thing that we some, sometimes, very occasionally run into is there might be flaps to match. <laughs> and all of this. Amazing. And this happened with another One Piece song sung by <coughs> Stephanie Young, who's a professional uh, singer. She's fantastic. Um, and she plays Robin on One Piece. And there is a closing that starts around episode 74 that is Robin singing. I think it's the same. It's the Japanese Seiyu. But she is animated on screen. And there are portions where her mouth is moving. So we had to also match these flaps along with all of the other troubles we could run into um, that Vic mentioned. So, yeah, I think it's next door to us. Um, let's see, here is Japan Mix. That's good. Here's what the song is. somewhere, the odds are astronomical. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, okay, so I'm like, holy moly, what are